Some years ago, when two people got married, they would often make this sentimental expression of harmony. It's like two hearts beating as one. But in fact, there is another time in human life when a close physical union of hearts takes place, and that is in pregnancy. There is not only a physical connection between mother and her unborn child, where she provides nourishment from her blood to feed her child, but as any midwife would tell you, that as a child's heart starts to beat, they would often use a monitor to listen to the baby's heart, ensuring that all is well in the last weeks of the pregnancy. In fact, it is quite difficult to separate the sounds of the two hearts at times. Although there is often a strong emotional bond between mother and child, there is an even stronger one between wisdom the Creator and the child, and wisdom never breaks that bond. But women do, and do it frequently, whenever it suits them, and whenever their pregnancy is inconvenient. Yet what women choose to ignore at this critical moment is that they are carrying the special gift of a child, and that child belongs to wisdom, not to them. How many pregnant women are aware of the truth that they are carrying wisdom's child for him and that every pregnancy is a special gift from him to the human race who live on the world and who are told to go forth and multiply. You could call it a contract between women and wisdom the Creator. It is a miraculous gift that cannot be fully described with human expression but it is without doubt a gift that has supernatural consequences for the survival of the human race. However, there have been a number of political leaders around the world who decided that the population of the world was growing too big for the world to sustain more children, and so they broke the covenant between wisdom and the people on the earth, and allowed doctors and nurses to slaughter wisdom's innocence for no other reason than the pregnancy would be inconvenient and disrupt a woman's lifestyle. They would not be able to afford to take overseas trips and continue with all the comforts of living in the fast lane of life. Here is one statement that is never spoken by the doctors and nurses in the termination clinic. It could go something like this. You need to know that wisdom is watching you as you reject his precious gift of life. And because of every termination that is taken place around the world, wisdom is finalising his plans to withdraw the gift of conception from the whole human race. Best prepare for a time of wailing and gnashing of teeth. The world leaders know that wisdom and his two anointed witnesses, King Peter and Queen Mary, are here on the earth and that their words in the heavenly blogs are being read by their true followers, the faithful remnant. But they are also being read by world leaders who know them to be true, but are still refusing to change their laws to prohibit abortions. The divine contract between the Creator and man set out in Genesis, when man and woman were told to go out into the world to multiply, is now fatally broken and all of mankind, apart from wisdom's two witnesses and his remnant, are now in the firing line to receive wisdom's divine and just anger. It's payback time, as the world discovers that wisdom always keeps his word, no more human pregnancies. Sounds unbelievable? Think there are no divine just consequences? Best to start reading the heavenly blogs, and July the 19th, 2023, could be an eye opener. I thank you for watching and listening.